Hey guys, um, welcome back to another part of Pokemaniac Tech's Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, and in this video, we're gonna fight this mysterious Gyarados here that's supposedly taken over um, on the lake. Um, yeah, and this is actually, and I think this is supposed to be like pretty much the main, the whole dilemma of this mahogany mystery thing or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's why everyone's talking about it. Yeah, but anyway, we in, in, it's an encounters, and OMG. It's a shiny Gyarados, not just shiny, but a red Gyarados, OMG, what's this? Yeah, but anyway, this is a Gyarados here, um, it's the only red Gyarados in the game. It, it actually appeared in the anime, but yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna catch this thing just for fun. Yeah, and, and, and I know it's gonna, I'm gonna try to do something on it, yeah. Oh yeah, and this thing knows the moves Thrash, Leer, Bite, and I think it knows Dragon Rage as well. So yeah, and this thing is Water and Flying type, yeah. And first, he yeah, has, so, so this thing is not exactly weak to grass moves, which is why I did not want to use a grass type attack. And that thrash did quite a lot, yeah. I'm not sure how good. Yeah, I, th I think this. Yeah, and oh, okay, I just survived this by a bit. Okay, please don't kill this guy, it isn't. Oh, snap, just one hit point, yeah. Unfortunately, he got he goes for the thrash for the kill to Earth Power, but yes, I will use the next Pokemon. It's alright, Earth Power, you've done your best, yeah. And now I'm gonna put you to sleep. Um, let's hope I'm fast. Oh, crap, oh, God. please don't hit yourself in confusion. Yes, alright, good Dragon Rage. I think I can take that. Yeah, yeah, I, I can easily take that because that's a fixed set move which only does 40 HP damage. Um, and let's see, Ultra Ball. I'm not sure if I'm gonna catch this on the first try, but oh well, we'll just test my luck and see what happens. Yeah. Wiggled. And of course, it only made just one wiggle. But thankfully, this thing is still snoozing, so we're just gonna chuck one more Ultra Ball at it. Yeah, I know I'm wasting them all, but I, I think I can easily get some. I can get some new ones sometime. Two, three, and it's caught. Perfecto. All right. So yeah. Oh yeah. And, and in case you guys didn't know, but yeah, Agarito's original color is blue. Um, and yeah. And I will not give you a nickname, Gyarados, because I'm not going to use you. Oh yeah, and then you get a red skill, which is actually a key item, and, and it's very useless to me, so I won't be needing anything like that. Yeah, did I come here because of the rumors? Yeah. Oh yeah, th by the way, yeah, this guy is Lance, I mean, he, he's actually, um, one of the Kanto Elite Four members, um, um, if you guys all remember from uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow, and then also Fire, Red, and Green, Red, gr and Leaf, Green. And sure, yeah, why not, I'll help you out. Yeah. Lake Magic Cut Off Force to Evolve, a mysterious ra radio... Whoa, man. And look away, he just flies away. Oh yeah, and this is Mr. Pokemon's house, this is who you're supposed to trade the Red Scale with. Yeah, and he says, yeah, it's a red scale. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the XP share that you got from Professor Oak, yeah. Oh, crap, yeah. I'm a little full on items, yeah. So I'm gonna have to toss out some items here. What should I get rid of? Uh, let me think. You know what? I think because I sort of feel like it, I think I'm just gonna toss out the poison bar. I mean, I know Nido King's poison type, but he can't learn Sludge Bomb, which really, really sucks, yeah. Hmm. So yeah, thanks for the P-share. That's, I think this is gonna have to be a short segment, so I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.